Hi guys, Mary here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so today I will be giving you guys a tour of our home. And I've been meaning to do one, uh, a home tour for a while now and just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, I apologize for that. I know many of you have asked for one. And uh, I guess this week the timing was just right to do something like this. And uh, so today, yeah, I'll be taking you inside and showing you guys our living room, kitchen, bedrooms. Uh, I probably won't do the bathroom because I have a makeover plan for that in the near future and I'll be sharing that on a separate video. Uh, but yeah, you'll have to excuse me, I'll probably be doing a lot of talking because there's different things I kind of want to explain. I know a lot of you are interested in kind of knowing how. Uh, you know, I did some of the things, uh, nothing, you know, fancy or anything. Anything I do, you guys can do too. And, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be taking you through and you know, kind of showing you everything. And um, I wish I could get the smell that I'm smelling right now to you guys too. Um, I have a honeysuckle blooming to my left here and it's in full bloom right now. And we smell it all through the house and throughout our property here. It smells so good. But yeah, unfortunately I can't get that to you. But uh, if any of you know how that smells, you kind of know what I'm talking about. It's the sweetest smelling flower ever. Um, but yeah, so let's get started and follow me inside and yeah, enjoy. Okay, so as you enter our home, uh, you'll see a small entryway area first here. Uh, there's a wreath hanging on the wall there that I got at Marshall's. And the little bench is actually uh, the bottom part of a chest of drawers that I just cut off and I added the barn wood top for the seat. Uh, the pillow is uh, I made using an old uh, you know pillowcase and the words I made using my silhouette cameo. And hanging above the seat on the wall is a wooden shelf also made out of barn wood and there's a jar on there with a label. Uh, you're going to see a lot of that in our home. I'm kind of into that look right now. Um, I either get them from online or design them myself and laminate them and glue them onto the, the jars. And the welcome to our home, I just, yeah, printed that out. Um, and there's a family picture to the right there on the shelf. And in this uh, corner here, I had done a spring uh, decoration uh, video earlier this year, so I will link that below. I won't go into too much detail here. During the summer, I really like to have the windows open. I just love to hear the outside, hear the birds singing, and smell the honeysuckle on the porch there, and feel the breeze. Uh, we do run our air conditioner if it gets really hot, but uh, I always prefer to have open windows. And the curtains I just made, uh, I bought the sheer panels at Dollar General, I think it was, years ago, and I just added the tan strips of cloth. And the rods are is actually conduit that I got from my dad. He's an electrician, and I just painted it black, and I bought those little rings with the clips uh, to hang the curtains. And in this room, I really like to stick with neutrals. As you can see, um, I do have a splash of maybe green here and there. There's a green and white quilt hanging on the love seat there. And the plants, of course, are green. Right now, there's a little more color on the, the mantle, the fireplace mantle. Um, I had added flowers uh, this spring, and I think I'm gonna keep them there over the summer here. I think that kind of fits. I got them at Country Gatherings, a local place in our area here. There's also a cabinet there in the corner that uh, is that aqua color. I used to have that here and there throughout our home, and I think I might want to change that soon here. It's, it, I think it should either be white or gray or something neutral would look better. And the shiplap, I say that in quotation marks on the wall, is actually just something I installed myself. It's not real shiplap. Um, I just bought uh, plywood, like 1 8 inch plywood, cut it into strips and nailed it to the wall. Painted it and I have that shiplap look. Uh, it was a very uh, not costly you know, and easy project to do. One of my favorite sounds here in this room is the waterfall that you may be able to see through the double windows, uh, but yeah, you can really hear that from the living room here. And this pot I found at Pacatan's for a good price, couldn't resist. The coffee table I had also done a video on earlier this year. I will link that below in case you want to check it out. The pillows on the sofa, I made the put your feet up and stay a while. Again, using my Silhouette Cameo. And the plaid ones are from Ikea, the white ones are from Marshalls.
on, a, on the wall above the sofa is, are also some wooden shelves that I had made to uh, place some, you know, family pictures on. Uh, very simply made, just, um, you know, nailed some wood together, had on hand. And there's a light fixture here that I uh, bought off of eBay um, and just kind of stuck it together. I got the pulley at a local antique mall and yeah, all the, the light fixture and the, I think I bought the bulb at Walmart, but the, the actual fixture is, I'm pretty sure I got it off of eBay. The stump from the woods serves as an end table for the one side of the couch here. In this corner I have my printer and some of my crafting supplies. Um, I just made those shelves again out of barn wood and pipe. And this uh, desk here I made the top and I just bought uh, three filing cabinets at Walmart you know, for a place to store my, you know, papers and some crafting supplies. And I actually am in this corner a lot here with, you know, being on the computer and I do some uh, work uh, just at home, um, secretary work. And the bulletin board, I also made that out of old wood and burlap. The lights are from Ikea. And the chair, um, I had actually gotten two of them uh, for a good price uh, from Amazon. The other one's over here by the mantel. Uh, really comfortable chairs, very suitable for, you know, for a desk chair. And the sign, the large round wooden sign there, I had actually also done a video on earlier this year, and I will link that below in case you want to check it out. And I also did a blog post years ago on how I made this mantle. It's actually a fake mantle, there's no fireplace there. I just wanted that look, I wanted an area to decorate, so I'll also link that below. Here's another angle looking out into our dining area. And the, the wall, the, the color of the paint on the wall is Darling Dove. It's a, it's a Do It Best brand paint color. And on the shiplap, it's called Spectral, also by Do It Best. And I will link my blog post below on how I did that shiplap in case you're interested in seeing that. There's a secretary desk in the corner here that still has that aqua backing that I want to change eventually too. And any white dishes you see throughout our home isn't expensive ironstone or anything like that. It's uh, just dishes I had here that I didn't use anymore that were, you know, clear or another color and I just painted them white to get that look. And again, coming through our front door to the left uh, is a uh, dining room area. Um, our kitchen and dining room are actually kind of together. Uh, but yeah, first you'll have the, the dining room area. Um, there's a buffet here that I had actually shared a video on earlier um, this year. And I'll link that below in case you're interested in checking it out on how I uh, did that makeover. And on the buffet, there's also a wooden tray that I'll link below. I had also done a video on that. And I have a few plants and some dishes sitting on there. And hanging above the buffet on the wall is an old window with uh, pictures in it, well, family pictures that I got printed out at Staples. And I think they just printed it on plain white paper. I thought they did a pretty good job. To the right, there's a door that I had also done a makeover on here a couple years ago. I had written a blog post on it. I will also link that below. I wanted that plank look and uh, used underlayment to do that. Um, had some hardware off of another old door that I used. Um, thought that kind of added character. Okay, so coming in from the living room here, uh, you're gonna see the table and chairs first. Um, a lot of you guys have asked about that table. Um, I just made it uh, very simple, nothing fancy. I just used some old wood. Um, I think the, the posts or the legs were actually fence posts at one time. And the, the top is, was um, barn wood from my, my husband's home place. Uh, he grew up on a farm and they tore out the barn floor and I got some of the wood and I was really impressed with it because I didn't even need to stain it. It was actually darkened with age to that color. So I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, the chairs I had gotten at JCPenney years ago, they were black when I got them. have since painted them white using Annie Sloan uh, chalk paint. Distressed them and applied the wax, Annie Sloan wax, and they've held out really, really well. I've been really impressed. I don't think the paint has come off anywhere except where I sanded. Uh, the centerpiece on the table, um, the box was a Coca-Cola box, and I painted it white and added the uh, words farmhouse on both sides. And the picture I also painted, it was clear at one time. 
uh, put the, the letter Y on there, also using my Silhouette Cameo, and the lamb's ear is uh, from my garden. To the left of the table there's a little cabinet that used to be a gun cabinet, and I just um, yeah added some shelves. The reflection's pretty bad, so I'll open it up here. The top shelf has a basket with some tea towels. The middle shelf has uh, painted bottles with labels. And the bottom shelf has a few big jars. And I love glass knobs, so I added that on the drawer. And on top there's a sign that is also made out of barn wood. On top of the window I also uh, put a shelf in years ago and the curtains are is actually drop cloth fabric that I bleached and I just kind of hung over the rods there and from another angle um, you can see the black bench my husband actually made a couple years ago and the scroll is something that you can buy off my Etsy shop if you're interested and uh, the light fixture is from Lowe's. Some of our wooden countertops here in the kitchen I actually painted to make it look like marble. I bought a kit um, that was made to you know, make something look like granite, but I kind of switched it around and tried to get the marble look. And you know, someday hopefully we'll have real marble tops, but for now uh, this will do. And also the section of cabinets there with the drawers uh, used to be beside the stove facing the same way as the stove. And a number of years ago one day I felt kind of wild and I tore those off the wall and swung them, swung them around to create kind of an L shape. I like the idea of having a divider between the dining area and the kitchen. And the countertop by the sink is a stained top. It's pretty weathered anymore, worn. Uh, kind of like that look, but I wish it was more the gray uh, driftwood stain. Uh, so eventually we do want to change that too. Um, I like the idea of open shelving in a kitchen, so I ended up taking some doors off, painting the inside, so I'd have a, another little place to, you know, decorate. I'm going to be showing you guys some before and afters just for fun here of the kitchen. Um, at one time I had lots of reds and tans and it was more of a, you know, primitive country look in our house. And, um, you know, I kind of, I still like that look depending where it is, but um, I just really love how paint can make such a big difference in a home and it's not a huge expense. I mean basically this kitchen is the same but it's just painted a different color. I made this island a number of years ago and unfortunately I didn't get a shot of the other side of it where there's an open trash bin and some chicken fence doors. Uh, the container here on the shelf um, I, it was hot pink at one time, painted it white, um, it holds you know, tea towels and dishcloths and uh, the French country design I transferred on there using parchment paper. Uh, the section here where the old beams are used to be a separate little room like a pantry. We tore those walls out and added the beams. I uh, love how it opened it up and the microwave I just cut off half of the door and made room for that microwave in the cupboard instead of you know on the counter. And the doors and drawers, uh, I actually use wallpaper and thin strips of wood to kind of get that, um, you know, beadboard look. And I did a blog post on that a couple years ago, and I'll link that below in case you're interested in checking that out. There's some jars again with labels on them on the top of the cupboard here. I got the little wire baskets at Dollar General. And the canister set I got at uh, Orms Hardware. It's a local hardware store here area. And the rugs I got at Walmart.com, I believe. I have some herbs growing here by the window. I just bought those little buckets um, and at Walmart, and I used my Silhouette Cameo to add those words on there. I also have another old window here with... Uh, some plants, pictures of images of plants behind the glass. Love those old latches. There's a chalkboard wall here that I uh, put chalkboard paint on using a roller. And in this picture here, there's no design on it. But I have a niece who's very creative, and she came in and did this for me, and it's just beautiful. So moving into the master bedroom, the headboard, I say that in quotation marks, is actually 
some garden gates that I had made a couple years ago and didn't use them anymore on the outside so I brought them in put them on either side of the window and we added the lights my husband helped me with the conduit there we bend some conduit and I bought the shades at an antique mall painted all that gray and uh, yeah I pardoned the crooked shade there on the right I kind of noticed that right now um, the, the blind on the window is a Roman shade that I painted uh, the white and gray stripes on and we love having an open window like this in our headboard. It's um, just awesome during the summertime to have that open and hear the tree frogs during the night. And there's also my pond back there and, you know, with the waterfall, you hear that too. Uh, yeah, it makes for some good sleeping. And the cushions, I also made those. Um, the comforter set I got at Target. I'm of course always looking for trash to turn into treasure, you know, and I found these doors rotting away in a field a number of years ago, and I picked them up, took them home, and made this cabinet out of them. I just love it for extra storage. Eventually I do want to get some nightstands with drawers to provide more storage, um, but for now these painted suitcases will do for the one side, and there's a TV uh, tray on the other. And this whole door I actually uh, also did a blog post on. I'll link it below how I transferred these images onto the door. So heading on upstairs to the boys' bedrooms. Our oldest son's uh, headboard is a pallet. And his nightstand is a, a tool chest that I painted white. It used to be bright red. And his lamp is a shop clamp light. And he really enjoys cars and engines, and so he had some hubcaps hanging above his bed. And of course his gaming corner. The youngest son's room is kind of uh, explore or adventure themed. Um, I took an old piece of furniture there and Mod Podge some maps onto the doors. And he loves to build things with cardboard. Here's one of his many cardboard creations. We made this desk uh, using plywood a number of years ago. And I labeled the storage bins there on the top shelf. And of course he has his computer there on the desk. And his headboard is an old door and I glued a map to a blind uh, for a you know decoration above his bed. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, you're probably tired of hearing me talk by now, so just shut me off if you are, but uh, I just wanted to say if you have any questions about anything I may have missed inside, uh, feel free to ask below and I'll do my best to answer. And uh, again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I appreciate all of your comments, uh, likes, views, and everything. Um, I never dreamed back in February when I started this channel that anybody would even want to watch my videos. So I've been really pleasantly surprised at how much uh, uh, you know, I, you know, interest has been shown. And I just love that we can use YouTube like this to be an inspiration to each other. So uh, yeah, just thank you for that. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you next time. Bye.